안녕하세요 보라매님들 프로파일러 김정렬 PD입니다 로키드 마틴 포토스 지사에 이어서 현재 저희는 마리에타 지사에 나와 있습니다 저희가 마리에타에 왜 와있냐면요 And with the different variants and all the different missions that it can provide, you almost buy yourself a bit of an Air Force when you buy the C-130J. The C-130 also incorporates uh, tactical data links that allow it to operate with fighters, uh, the F-16, the F-35. I think um, some of the upgrades would be if we could see a stealth version of the airplane. You've got to be careful what I say. <laughs> C-130J의 테스트 파일럿님을 만나서 들어보도록 하겠습니다. 함께 가시죠. Good morning, my name is uh, Keith Gernick. I'm a Lockheed Martin test pilot on the C-130J program in Marietta, Georgia. 만나 뵙게 돼서 반갑습니다. 저희가 수동기 파일럿을 만난 건 처음인데 수동기 파일럿은 전투기 파일럿과 비교했을 때 어떤 차이점이 있나요? Yes, I think one of the biggest differences that I've noticed is just the lifestyle. When I was flying uh, C-130s uh, in the U.S. Air Force, I spent a lot of time on the road and away from home, a lot more than my fighter pilot counterparts did. I like the versatility of the mission. I think we did a lot more things from direct combat actions uh, to humanitarian assistance, delivering medicine and food. Uh, and I got to see all different parts of the world, meet a lot of different people, and help out in a lot of different parts of the world as well. It was very satisfying and I enjoyed my time. Ah, 그렇군요. 그렇다면 지금까지 어떤 C-130 플랫폼을 담당하셨나요? Well, I started out flying the older C-130s. Uh, they were actually built in the 1960s. And then I ended up uh, moving up to the newer uh, J models uh, towards the end of my career before I uh, started flying with Lockheed Martin. Uh, and here at Lockheed Martin, we make seven different variants and they conduct 18 different missions. Everything from uh, weather reconnaissance to aerial firefighting to aerial refueling to uh, uh, combat delivery. Uh, and I've been fortunate enough to be able to fly all of those. 혹시 그러면 조종하시면서 느낀 계량 형들 간에 차이점 혹은 특징이 있을까요? There are some small characteristical differences between the J model itself. One of them is when we talk about the long airplane, the stretch airplane versus uh, the shorter one. With the longer moment arm of the longer airplane with the rudder on that airplane, uh, it has a little bit better handling characteristics when you have an asymmetrical engine out on one side. Uh, another difference between the variants has to do a lot with the drag. Look at the uh, gunship, for example, with all those uh, guns sticking out the left side, different sensors and uh, different stores on the wings. It has different, a lot more drag and has a little bit different uh, flying characteristics because of the difference in the drag. 그렇다면 최신 계량형 C-130J의 허큘리스는 엔진과 프로펠러가 새로 장착되어 있다고 알고 있는데 구체적으로 구형 모델과 어떤 차이점이 있는지 알려주시면 감사하겠습니다. Uh, it's not the number of blades uh, that's really the difference. Uh, it's the upgrade in the power from the engines and the efficiency that the new composite propellers uh, provide. So more fuel efficient and more power. It's like having uh, five engines on the older C-130. You get 25% more power from the combination. Uh, you can definitely feel it just when you push the power up for takeoff. You can feel it, uh, differences in the climb. The performance is a lot better. When I first started flying it, I tried to make it feel and look like the old airplane, and I found that I was pulling the power back quite a bit to make it look the same. And then I realized I just needed to embrace the new power, push the throttles all the way up, and accept that my nose is a lot higher than it is in a climb, and that I'm getting a lot better performance than what I was used to. Uh, aside from the basic design of the C-130, one of the big differences with the J model is that it's a digital airplane with modern avionics. Uh, it's built around uh, computers that control a lot of the airplane. They monitor 
uh, all the systems, from the FADEX that control the engines to the mission computers that control and monitor all the subsystems on the airplane. The way that issues are reported and dealt with as far as maintenance are, uh, is a lot different, and the way the crew interacts with maintenance is a lot different because of that. They all can also use all that data to do some analysis to figure out to change the maintenance models of the airplane and to figure out what might be breaking next. So that's a lot of the big differences. Head-up display is completely different. Certainly. Uh, the C-130J, one of the main uh, upgrades on it is the two digital HUDs, both for the pilot and the co-pilot. Everything you need to fly the airplane uh, is located in that, in that heads-up display. There, the HUD is certified for flight in uh, IFR conditions, in instrument conditions. And when I used to fly the old airplane, if you were within about two or 300 feet of altitude and about five knots of airspeed, that was considered okay. And in this airplane, if you're more than a knot or two off of airspeed and more than 10 feet off of altitude, the other pilot's probably asking what you're doing wrong. 수송기는 일반 전투기와 테스트 단계도 다를 것 같은데 어떤 차이점이 있는지 소개 부탁드립니다. I know the procedures and techniques for the flight tests are, are pretty much the same and it doesn't really matter which aircraft you're on, but what you will find with the transport aircraft is you're a little more concerned with the flight characteristics and flight um, handling characteristics and envelope at the lower speeds, which means we do a lot more stall testing, a lot more uh, flying at lower air speeds, and most of that's because it's the lower air speed you can achieve for landing means the shorter airfield you can land on, as well as taking off in shorter airfields at uh, slower airspeeds. And uh, those slower airspeeds are also required for things like airdrop, helicopter air refueling. So you, we do a lot of our testing at slower speeds and usually at lower altitudes than you'll see a lot of the fighters flying at. 그럼 C-130은 다양한 임무를 수행하니까 극지나 열악한 환경에서도 많은 테스트를 할것 같은데 직접 경험한 에피소드가 있으시다면 한 말씀 부탁드리겠습니다. Uh, yes, one of the things I did was about 10 years ago, we had to do extreme cold weather testing, operational testing on the aircraft. So we took two airplanes uh, up to the northern part of Alaska at an air base up there, and we had to have them sit outside in uh, temperatures of up to negative 40 degrees Celsius and get snow and ice covered. And then we had to successfully launch the airplanes, conduct missions, and then recover the airplanes under those same weather conditions. And I'll tell you, the airplane did a lot better in those cold temperatures than I did. 그렇다면 그런 극한의 상황에서 버틸 수 있도록 최신 개량형 C-130J에 추가된 사항이 있을까요? Oh, the C-130 was always designed for operations in harsh conditions. I mean, that's what it's been doing for 66 years now. The C-130 is, is doing that every day uh, all over the world, uh, from both poles to the equator, uh, from the desert to icy conditions, and uh, anywhere from sea level up to the mountains in the Himalayas. The design of the C-130 gear is uh, it's mostly designed to absorb extreme vertical loads. You can land the airplane up to nine feet per second uh, a touchdown, uh, and then that compared with the massive brakes that are on each wheel help to really dissipate that kinetic energy upon landing, and that's what gives you a very short landing distance, which is something that's required of a tactical airlifter. And the tires themselves are big in order to have more surface area, and that makes it better for what we call ground flotation and performance on rough and unimproved airfields. Uh, if you see the big tires that they have on some of the, what they call the bush plains in Alaska or the Canadian wilderness, it's the same idea. It helps uh, absorb some of that energy when it lands, and it also means you can land on softer surfaces. Now, one of the big differences uh, for the C-130J has to do with the upgraded engines and propellers. Uh, it gives it more power and better performance at uh, what we call high and hot conditions, uh, high altitude airfields and hot weather, uh, high density altitude. Uh, it means it can bring more cargo into and out of uh, those fields. 말씀을 듣다 보니 C-130으로 경험하셨던 가장 어려웠던 임무 같은 게 궁금해지는데 I wasn't prepared for that one. I think uh, one of the ones I remember the most, I think there were only two times that I felt like I might, I might not survive uh, in the airplane, and they both had to do with getting into wake turbulence uh, of another airplane during training and testing, especially when I had a student who was unfamiliar with the airplane that I was doing training with, uh, and uh, we were doing some low airspeed formation uh, maneuvers, and uh, we, he dropped us down into the wake turbulence of the airplane in front of us, uh, and we were only about 500 feet off the ground when that happened, and uh, it took a little bit of, uh, of maneuvering to get us out and recover before, uh, before hitting the ground. 
1130J가 한국 대형 수송기 2차 사업의 후보에 올라와서 많은 관심을 받고 있는데 C-130J 담당 비행 조종사로서 이 기체의 장점을 말씀해 주실 수 있으실까요? Uh, I see one of the main advantages of C-130 being that it's a, a proven aircraft. Uh, the basic design's been flying for 66 years. The J model's got uh, over two and a half million flight hours on it. So when you talk about the history of an airplane and its ability to conduct the missions that it's designed to do, the C-130 has a history of being able to do that. I think it all goes back to the original design of the aircraft as a straight wing, turboprop powered aircraft, which makes it very good for short field landings and takeoffs, which is one of the things it's known for, as well as the versatility of flying at low air speeds and low altitude. So I see it as a little bit less risk when you choose an aircraft like the C-130. And with the different variants and all the different missions that it can provide, you almost buy yourself uh, a bit of an air force when you buy the C-130J with all the different things that it can do. 그러면 특별히 한국이 C-130J를 사용했을 때 가질 수 있는 장점이 뭐가 있을까요? The C-130 also incorporates uh, tactical data links that allow it uh, to operate with fighters, uh, the F-16, the F-35, uh, so it can sort of combine itself into a, uh, a combined air war uh, and have the same situational awareness uh, as, as the fighters do uh, and also be able to provide some information into that network node. Uh, well, the C-130, as you know, is being flown by air forces all around the world. There are many over in the same uh, area of operations as Korea. Uh, so when you buy the C-130, you're operating the same sort of aircraft, just like any the, like you are with the fighters, uh, that uh, a lot of other countries are operating. So you get the advantages of learning some of the lessons that they've learned, sharing that information. You can share supply chains, places where the aircraft gets the heavy maintenance done, training uh, facilities, and just exercises in general. If you're using the same type of equipment, it's much easier to uh, interoperate between air forces of different countries, especially in times uh, when it may be needed. 오늘 C-130J에 대해 많은 말씀을 해주셨는데 마지막으로 미래 C-130의 새로운 계량형이 나오게 된다면 어떤 기능이 추가되면 좋을까요? That's a good question. Um, so I'm trying to think of what to say without. Got to be careful what I say. Um, I think um, some of the upgrades would be if we could see a stealth version of the airplane, uh, which is hard to do with a large transport, but there are definitely some things that can be done that can that can decrease the radar cross-section of the airplane. The other things are different sensors to provide situational awareness for the pilot. For instance, like you see with the uh, F-35 helmet and different cameras that you can see uh, all around the airplane and get more uh, information of what's going on in the battle space brought directly to the pilot while they're flying around. I think the thing I'm most proud about the C-130 are the men and women in uniform all around the world that are operating the airplane every day. And one of the greatest parts of my job is to be able to go out and visit and talk with those people uh, from countries all over to include South Korea and find out what they like about the airplane, what they don't, uh, what they're doing with the airplane, because a, a lot of Air Force are doing things with the airplane that we never really envisioned. And it's nice to see and learn about how they're doing that and take that information back and figure out ways to make the aircraft better for them. CPEX Helmship Fighting. <웃음> Is that good or no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <웃음> 이게 마지막으로 말씀을 전하고 싶은 게 한국인들이 C-130J가 되게 익숙하거든요. 근데 그 익숙한 이유가 그 배틀그라운드라고 하는 한국의 유명한 게임이 있습니다. 거기서 가장 먼저 등장하는 비행 기체가 C-130J라고. Oh, nice. Good advertising. I've gotten to do that actually. I was when I was in the U.S. Air Force, we would do exercises in Korea, and I've dropped I've dropped a lot of Korean paratroopers uh, all over the peninsula, and they were the tree jumpers, where they were wearing the suits with all the they almost look like um, bomb disposal suits, so they could fall through the trees and not get hurt. 